Here's this gigantic manatee just laying on the sand. To find an animal that large laying on the bank, I've never seen that before. She was too far away from the water. She could have rolled around as much as she wanted and she never would have made it there. If the construction crew hadn't found her, she might not have been found at all. She might have just been left there until a boat happened by. They'd been there every morning and they'd seen manatees in the water, but not one laying on the ground. The bulldozer operator saw this large shape lying nearby and went to check it out, otherwise nobody would have seen her. Usually animals that are that large don't tidally strand that often. The water was higher, I guess, than even she had anticipated, but the water receded around her. She could have been trying to get away from males. Sometimes manatees will beach themselves when that happens. I'm a manatee research assistant. I track the animals that we tag and I help tag them. All these humans are running around her like crazed ants. Usually with an animal that large, you would expect at least 10 very strong people, and we did not have that. She was 1,700 pounds minimum. So we finally got all the straps under her, and when we went to roll her, nothing happened. Okay, everyone over here, really put your backs into it. We actually couldn't get all of our measurements because we didn't have enough people to fully roll her over and take the measurements. When I started putting the belt on her, I had to double check the sizes because it was literally the biggest belt that we have. She was the biggest manatee I've ever tagged. She was so big, there was no way we were gonna get her out to the water. Our best option was have the bulldozer bring the water to her and I'd never seen that done before. And it was very impressive watching the water get closer and closer with each pass. I kept waiting for it to finally get to her. So luckily when the water finally came to her, we had enough under her that we were able to pull her up and get her out. All rescues are unique, but hers definitely stands out as the strangest rescue I think I've ever seen. So many people came together and cared about her enough that everyone rushed to site to help her. I've never seen that. It was very, very cool to see. It was unlike anything I'd ever done before. And we can still track her. She decided to move south to Miami for the winter, then decided to return back to Savannah. I hope she was having a good time. Like comment, and subscribe.